Hello everybody, apologies for not uploading for a while, but I had an unexpected trip for the weekend and when I came back way too many Star Trek related news were revealed, so I will try to cover all of them in this uh, short little video. The most important thing is we got the official season 2 trailer for Star Trek Discovery. The new Star Trek show released on CBS All Access if you're in the USA, on cable TV if you are in Canada, or on Netflix if you're in almost any other country of the world. I haven't seen the CBS version of the trailer, simply because it's blocked outside the USA, but thankfully Netflix has released the trailer too. I don't know if they are identical or not, but we see a lot of interesting things in this Netflix version. We get to see the Discovery in what appears to be the new warp effect. We then see Michael in fire and something which looks like the Necromancer from the Hobbit movies. Then we get a chance to see both the Discovery and the reimagined USS Enterprise. I said it before, and I say it again, I hate what they've done to one of the most beautiful starships in the history of science fiction. Why change something what is beautiful into something what is modern looking? It doesn't look anything similar to the Enterprise. Then we see shots of the Discovery Bridge in a scene, which looks like it's continuing where the first season left us. And the good thing is that we get to see some of the secondary characters speak in this trailer. Who knows, maybe they will make me care about them enough to remember their names one day. But anyway, a huge spoiler. Captain Pike is the new captain of the Discovery. That is strange, so will he command both the USS Enterprise and the Discovery? Or will number one be in charge of the Enterprise? Well, we'll have to wait to see. But another great thing, it looks like the Discovery is going on an actual scientific mission in this season. You know, to boldly go where no one has gone before. That would be really nice. Uh, one of my biggest problems of the previous season was the incredibly boring war with the Klingons. I mean, that takes talent to make war with the Klingons boring. Anyway, seven red bursts are signaling something, and we will explore it. Works for me. We see our heroes soon exploring a previously unseen place with some huge sculptures, and we see more bridge crew talk. And something I didn't expect to ever see in Discovery. Attempts at humor. Unfortunately, they mention Spock, Anybody who has seen my previous videos covering the first season knows that I hate when they constantly rely on referencing previously established characters and things. I would really prefer if they forgot that foster sister subplot, but it looks like they will search for Spock. Which unfortunately means that we will see an actor playing Spock, an actor who will not be Leonard Nimoy. And I don't know, but I think that Spock is not a character which can be played by any random actor. Take a look at uh, Zachary Quinto, for example. He bears a slight resemblance to Nimoy, I have to admit that. But he is a horrible Spock. But uh, we see one of the new recurring characters, the chief engineer played by a comedian I have never personally heard about before so I have no clue what her skills are and if it's a reason to be happy or nervous. Then we see a couple of action shots and we end on a surprise. A new crew member, a Saurian named Linus. We have seen and heard about Saurian Brandy in practically all Star Trek shows, but we have never actually seen a Saurian before. I know that a Saurian was planned to appear in Star Trek The Motion Picture, but I honestly can't remember if we have seen him there or not. Anyway, the scene looks slightly funny, which is a really good thing in my opinion. Humor is one of the things that Discovery misses, at least in the first season. 
Hopefully they will not overdo it and they won't try to turn the show into a comedy. And the humor in the trailer reminds me a lot of uh, the Orville. I can't decide if it's a good thing or a bad thing. And I'm saying that as a person who liked the last season of the Orville much more than the last season of Discovery. So my overall impressions of the trailer are carefully optimistic. I guess that's a correct way how to describe it. But we'll see soon. We have a few more casting news. Rebecca Romjin, Romjin, not sure how to pronounce it correctly, is number one on the Enterprise and she doesn't look like Majel Barrett at all. I'm sorry, but this is one of the reasons why I don't like reusing existing characters and plots. There is a huge chance that you will do it incorrectly. To be perfectly honest, it's almost impossible to do it correctly. We also have some dates. Season 2 of Discovery will premiere in January 2019. But for those of you who like the show and can't wait so long, you will have something new to shorten your wait. When I've done my video about the Star Trek The Cinematic Universe a few weeks ago, I mentioned that Alex Kurtzman has signed a deal with CBS to create a bunch of new Trek-related products. And one of these new products is a series called Short Treks. These will be 10 to 15 minutes long short stories, which will air monthly, starting this fall. Four short stories are planned right now. One of them will feature the return of Rain Wilson as Herimad. Rain Wilson will also direct this one. The second one will feature Aldis Hodge as Mr. Kraft, a man who will find himself as the only living person on an abandoned ship. That sounds interesting, and if they do it correctly, it can be very interesting. We know already that this story will be called Calypso, and will be written by a Pulitzer Prize winning author named Michael Chabon. A third story will be about Saru, played by Mr. Duck Jones, and will explore his backstory as the first Kelpian who joined Starfleet. The last of the reported four short tracks will be about Cadet Tilly, which makes sense considering the fact that this is the only character which even people who don't like the show like. This is a very interesting concept and to be honest it sounds like a good idea. There is enough place for these little side stories in the huge Star Trek universe. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that they will be just 10 to 15 minutes long. I mean, you can't really tell a compelling story in just 10 minutes, or can you? At least I couldn't. <laughs> Also, I haven't found any information if this will be aired on TV or if it's going to be, again, streaming only, which means CBS All Access for all of you Americans and Netflix for all of us from Europe and the rest of the planet Earth. So, um, I am not really sure what to think about it. There are things which I like about these news, there are things which I don't like about the news. I don't like when they change pre-existing things. Whether we talk about the characters or designs. I mean, just don't reinvent the wheel. Have you never heard the term, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? But there are things which I think are a nice improvement. I overall like the new tone of the trailer. And the fact that the other bridge characters are finally allowed to speak. I mean, technically they were speaking in the last few episodes of season one, but you know what I mean. So I start to be slightly optimistic, but after the disappointment of the first season, I am afraid to get too excited. But I still am looking forward to it and plan definitely to watch the show. 
But what about you? How do you feel about these news? Will you watch season two? Have you liked season one? Tell me what you think about it down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you have some free time, feel free to watch any of the other videos you will find on my channel. You should see some links on screen right now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back soon with another video. Hopefully without my failing voice. Until then, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon. Bye.